Hello, dear. Uh, my name is Lesya Karpuk. I'm from Bila Tsarkova National Agrarian University, Ukraine. Uh, I am a teacher of um, Department of uh, Land Farming, Agricultural Chemistry and Soil Science. And today I would like to present my scientific research uh, that's complete in uh, this presentation. It calls crop production opportunities and challenges in Ukraine. So uh, since ancient time, Ukraine has been uh, and remains a powerful producer of winter and spring grain, legumes, cereals and sugar beets. But the achieved level of their production in the country is still significantly inferior to the advanced countries of the world and doesn't satisfy the need for high quality food and for the grain and industrial crops. The widespread introduction of intensive technologies for growing agricultural crops ensured an increase in their productivity. But uh, at the analysis show, it was accompanied by significant, <clears throat> not always sustained, additional ones cost of material and energy resources. And given the high cost of the latter, this did not always justify itself. Therefore, there was a need to develop and implement and production such resource and energy saving technologies for growing agricultural crops, which would have a direct economic character, contribute to the effective use uh, uh, of not only fertilizers, pesticides, fuel, machines and tools, but also natural resources. Uh, this problem can be successfully sold if the main parameters of the formation of highly productive agrophytocenosis of new generation, generation cultivars are developed, which have a regulatory basis for building technology models in the system, uh, plant, cultivar, soil, I mean crop rotation, fertilizers, tillage, chemical protection, and also hydrothermal conditions. Uh, the analysis of state register uh, of, wheat, uh, of plant varieties suitable for distribution in Ukraine gives us a general idea of the prevalence and commercial interest in different types of wheat and other cultures. So if we talk about our country, um, in this picture you can see geographical regions of Ukraine. Its uh, zone limitations are marked in continuous line. It, uh, the first zone is a zone of mixed conferous broad leafed forests. The second one is a forest steppe zone. The third one is steppe zone. And the fourth one, uh, the Ukrainian Caucasians, and also fifth one, it's Crimean mountains. If we talk about uh, main crop areas, uh, I would like to pay your attention. In 2022, uh, the, the uh, amount of uh, winter wheat was 6.45 million hectares. <coughs> if we talk about winter rape, the amount of land uses, it was uh, one point. 29 million hectares, and uh, if you talk about winter barley, it was 1 million hectares used. The main crop areas uh, uh, for other crops, it's uh, if you talk about sunflower seeds, it's um, <clears throat> you see about um, 658.2 thousand hectares. Uh, 4580.8 thousand hectares of corn. Also, if you talk about spring barley, 2 million and uh, uh, 497 thousand uh, hectares. If we talk about peas, it's 435.5 thousand hectares. And for sugar beet, uh, the land uh, the land using was um, uh, 279.1 thousand hectares. So if we talk about our main crop wheat, wheat is one of the main grain crops grown in Ukraine. 
according uh, to official statistics in 2022, uh, 6.45 uh, 42 million hectares were occupied by it, with more than 90% of grown area, just like winter wheat. Um, in addition, in recent years, uh, if we talk about winter wheat, uh, is characterized by average competitiveness in phytocenosis with uh, other higher plants. Therefore, in agrophytocenosis conditions in the country, uh, sporadically under in environmental treat, freezing, no snow, um, I mean, ice crust, root boot, root root, brown leaf trust, weeds can significantly reduce yield. Of the above factors, the winter resistors of plants is decided in the formation of high productivity of win winter wheat crops. Uh, if we talk about um, this uh, crop, uh, a significant uh, ground system of mineral nutrition uh, has been also violated. In most farm, nitrogen fertilizers exceed several times the phosphoric potassium background, and in some cases, they are uh, the only fertilizer that has a very negative effect on the normal course of physiological and biochemical processes in plants, the timing of certain stages of organogenesis and they are resistant to adverse climatic conditions. So if we talk about um, the dynamics of uh, balance of nutrients in agriculture of Ukraine, uh, you can see that the, it's a data from national report on the state of soil fertility in Ukraine. So the negative balance uh, was in uh, 20 centuries, I mean, in 1971, 75, and uh, in other years, this um, dynamics uh, was um, a positive, uh, different uh, between uh, 30 years, and also the dynamics of nutrients uses in agriculture of Ukraine uh, also decreased from 1996 uh, till uh, period 2008, and if we talk about this uh, period, the uh, dynamics of uh, nutrients in agriculture now in increasing process. If we talk about Bali, uh, Bali is the second um, important culture of Ukraine both in terms of crop area and gross collection of grain used in the baking industry and the feed in livestock production. The value of butter also has a raw material for brain. The advantages of this crop are speediness, widespread and demand of grain in the world, uh, smallest nicety to the cultivation, of cereals, high productivity, a good forerunner, available Ukrainian cultivars are well adapted to local weather conditions. And also, if you talk about arid areas, in arid areas is more productive than wheat. Uh, the analysis of state register of plant varieties suitable for distribution in Ukraine gives for us a general idea of the prevalence and uh, commercial interest in Bali. Uh, thus, agrarians are often 77 uh, cultivars of winter barley of domestic and foreign breeding. And from spring, uh, barley presented, uh, from this print, barley presented 163 cultivars. Therefore, the presented uh, disparity between winter and uh, spring barley clearly indicates that the main directions in Ukraine is the growing of its own spring varieties and transplanted fields of winter crops lost after an unsuccessful winter break. If we talk about volume of production, export and irreversible loss of nutrients with barley grain from 2008 to 2022 marketing year. I would like to pay your attention on the next. Uh, such volumes of barley grain export for, from Ukraine impose their imprint, imprint on the level of nutrients supplied of plant crop protection. That on average over a decade, approximately 65 
1.5 thousand tons of nitrogen, 28.9 thousand tons of phosphorus and 19.1 thousand tons of potassium are being exported annually with an average value about uh, 2,083 million hryvnias. <clears throat> The next main crop is the corn. Uh, corn is an important crop which is characterized by versatility and high productivity. It is widely used not only in the forage and food branch, but also in the industry. When we analyze of the state register of plant varieties suitable for the dissemination of U in Ukraine, um, it gives an idea of the prevalence and commercial interests in this crop. Thus, farmers proposed uh, about 1,300 uh, corn hybrids of domestic and foreign breeding, which is, in, is an absolutely record. The number of corn hybrids presented in the state register of varieties of plants suitable for distribution in the territory of Ukraine, you can see on this picture, if you talk about the period um, from 1998 to 2022, the number of uh, corn hybrids is increased over the years. And now, uh, if you talk about this uh, last year, 2022, the number of corn, corn hybrids uh, was um, about 1,300. Uh, 1, uh, hybrids. If we talk about uh, volume of production, export and irreversible loss of nutrients with corn uh, grain, also from 2008 to 2022 market in the year, you can see uh, um, Ukraine annually produced about, um, if you talk about the period from 2011 to 2016 in Ukraine annually produces 20.9 till 30.9 million tons of grain. Minimal amounts of grain were obtained only in years with less interest in exporting corn. It was 2008 and 2009 and also 2010 and unfavorable for growth and development and uh, corn, and also it was 2017. And accordingly, the export of crops annually averages um, from 8.7 to 15.7 million tons, or about 55% of the total volume of grain. It should be noted separately in 2017 was unfavorable conditions of the significant harvest formation and almost all the grain was exported and only 0.7 million tons remained for the domestic market. If we talk about uh, last year, 2022, our country produced uh, 40.2 million tons, uh, 23.1 million tons was export, exported, and uh, the cost of exported nutrients uh, was 8 uh, million hryvnias. The next, <laughs> the next uh, crop which is growing in Ukraine, it's a peas, is one of the most well-known and common leguminosis crops in the world and in Ukraine. Uh, due to the combinations of high grain yields, it's about 4 foot till 4.5 ton per hectare, with its high quality, I mean its protein content up to 36%, grain size up to 54%, uh, fat up, uh, to 1.6% balanced amino acid composition. It is widely used for industry and is available food in live stock. Uh, the structure of grain legumes in the Ukraine uh, about 10.3%. More than 30% of its area is located in the forest steppe and more than 50% um, of the grain is produced. Uh, by 2006, um, P acreage uh, in Ukraine amounted to uh, 
that's 326.7 thousand hectares. In the 2008, it's uh, decreased till uh, 205.5 hectare, respectively. And we talk about uh, 2022, approximately uh, 310 thousand hectares were harvested under peas in Ukraine, with an average grain yield of uh, about three tons per hectare. Uh, our observations conducted in the some districts of Kyiv region in Ukraine during 2018-2022 showed that the most common uh, diseases of the peas are root rot. It's about uh, 20% pernosporosis is about 40%, ascohitosis it's about 27%, and also rye peas. Uh, peas better response to ex excess than lack of moisture in the soil. High, mo high moisture requirements it has um, for the first time in its development and during flowering and grain filling. For seed germination needs water from 100 to 150 percent of their mass. If you talk about Ukraine, in Ukraine is increasing the productivity of peace agrophytocenosis, that is obtaining the optimum density per unit area, the number of beans per plant and seeds in the beans, which 60-70 percent and more determine the level of heat depends on the soil climatic conditions, varietal characteristic and cultivation technology. The most important crop in Ukraine also is a soybean. In Ukraine every year there are the higher rates of increase in acreage and gross yield of soybean. If in uh, 1990 um, with an area of uh, 87,000 hectares 99.3 thousand tons of soybeans was harvested at an average yield of 1.1 uh, tons per hectare. Then in 2017, from the area 1 million thousand hectares collected uh, 3 million tons, uh, thousand tons, yield, uh, 3 million tons, yielding uh, 2.2 2 .2, 2 tons per hectare. If you talk about uh, Present time in 2022, uh, the average yield was about 2.2 ton per hectare, and the amount of air, the area was uh, about 3 million. Uh, amount of the uh, area was uh, ab about uh, 2 million hectares. Uh, in Ukraine's uh, Thanks to the favorable conditions formation, we can successfully cultivate not so not only soybean but other legumes. I mean nuts, lentils, lupinus, beans, peas, weaker beans, according to the officially accepted legumes classification on the uh, the static data or uh, data on the soybean accumulated separately, while uh, all other legumes are combined into one register. Analysis of the area occupied by the cultivation of soybean and other legumes in Ukraine, according to the state statistic, for the period 1919 to, uh, to the period 2022, uh, is shown in this picture. Uh, between 1990 and 2000, the area occupied by soybean cultivation accounted for only 87,000 hectares. And uh, in the period of 2000 till 2021, there was a significant reduction in the area occupied by other crops in 3.6 time to the level uh, 383 till 391,000 hectares. Also, data on the gross soybean and other legumes crops in Ukraine for the period of 1990 to uh, 2017, shown in this picture. Uh, the analysis of state registers of plant varieties suitable for dissemination in Ukraine shows a further increase in soybean, soybean um, varieties. So, gradients are often about uh, 200. 
39 soybean varieties of domestic and foreign breeding. In recent years, soybean growth is maximal for the whole period of observation, and we have a logical explanation. An increase in the harvested crop of grain crops is due to the intensification of agriculture in general, and the more productive varieties use and technologies elements. After all, in recent years, the crop area has not only not increased, but rather stabilized. This picture you can see the volume of production exports and irretrievable loss nutrients with soybean. Um, <clears throat> as we can see, uh, 4.3 uh, million tons of soybeans are produced annually in Ukraine. Minimum quantities of grain were obtained uh, only in those years with little commercial interest in soybean exports in 2008 and 2009. And respectively, the average annual export of uh, 1.6 million tons of soybeans is 60% of the total grain crop. If we talk about uh, last year, 2022, uh, Ukraine produced uh, 3.4 million tons and 2.1 million tons are exported to other countries. Also, I would like to pay your attention on the perennial legumes grasses. In the forest steppe zone of Ukraine, feed production is met mainly through growing them in the field and for the crop rotations. In this case, <coughs> it is important to provide livestock with green and coarse fodder and the soil and organic substance have long-standing bean grasses among uh, which among which uh, the most common are clover and alpha alpha in this picture you can see the clover and also alpha alpha or, or lucerne which is uh, also uh, spreading in the uh, crop sortation of our country. The clover um, is the main perennial crop in the fields in our region, I mean it's in Kyiv region. Uh, among uh, bean perennial herbs, uh, Lucerne takes the first place in, core, in crop area. Uh, the total area uh, in Ukraine began to grow in, in the 1960s in the uh, in our region i mean key region and today this um, uh, crop area is increased about 100,000 hectares in ukraine the varieties of red clover are mostly sown the leading place in this case belongs to the red clover which is the main source of cheap vegetable protein for livestock breeding. High nutritional value of forage mass, positive aftermath in crop rotation, accumulation of biological nitrogen in the soil are cause a significant spread of this crop. Reformer of land use, which is happening today in Ukraine, the transfer of a significant amount of arable land into meadows and pastures requires the extensive introduction of white clover in our country. Uh, the use of white clover in agroecosystems agro provides uh, for stable yields of uh, 200 to 300 kilograms per hectare and 23 ton per hectare of green mass per triple use for one year use. Today, <coughs> introduction to the production of varieties and advanced technology of clover hybrid growing is relevant. On strongly um, moist, acidic, low productive clay and marsh soils of the western foreign steppe of Ukraine, it gives higher hay yields than the red clover and for the value corresponds to it. Uh, in Ukraine, breeding and local varieties of Lucerne or Alpha Alpha belonging to the blue hybrid group are widespread. For example, the 
на село Подолянска, 11 variety is a Lucerne of a variable or medium blue hybrid group, a Ukrainian variety. The variety is medium long. The first lobe in the hay reaches 61 till um, 80 days. Complete seed reaches 113 till 130 days. Wheat and drought tolerance and are average. Better than other varieties to raise soil solicity. Resistance to mushroom diseases is moderate. If we talk about another cultivar, it's called Yaroslavna, is marked by intense growth and rapid maturity. The variety is more productive and is better adapted to the northern distribution of Lucerne, less responsible to the acidity of soils and can become an alter alternative to red clover. It is marked by, by increased longevity and preservation in cereals and legumes over six years. The next main crop that I would like to pay your attention, it's a sunflower. For the agro-industrial complex of Ukraine, sunflower is the main oil seed crop. It has considerable interest. Due to the ever-increasing demand of, for sunflower oil, the use in the food and technology industries, and for the processing of seed, red and cake as valuable livestock feeds, the areas of sunflower growing in Ukraine remain steadily high. Um, okay. If you talk about the sunflower, the most uh, the most important crop for our country, I would like also to say that um, in 2015, um, uh, in Ukraine, in the state register of plant varieties in, in Ukraine, uh, were about 500 uh, uh, varieties and hybrids of sunflower. Um, and we talk if we talk about this moment, I mean 2022, the <clears throat> month of these cultivars are increased strongly. Uh, and now it's the month of the uh, sunflower uh, hybrids and cultivars are uh, about uh, 800 varieties. In Ukraine, sunflower has a great industrial significance. Taking into account the growing demand for sunflower oil, the area under this crop has, signif has grown significantly in the recent year. In 2008, it's about 4.3 million hectares. In 2015, uh, four point, also 4.3 million hectares, and in 2022, 4.4 million hectares. Uh, the, the dynamics of production of sunflower seeds in Ukraine uh, since 1990 is characterized by a sharp increase in the area and growth collection. Uh, the production of sunflowers is characterized by high profitability, which is about 700 uh, percent. The condition of the domestic agricultural market have led to the fact that the attention of domestic producers aim at cultivating mainly sunflower due to its higher profitability. The, vers uh, the versatile use of this crop determines its great economic significance. The next crop uh, which is growing in Ukraine is sugar beet. Is growing as a long standing and traditional branch of Ukraine, which occupies an important place in its economy. The soil and the climatic condition of most regions of Ukraine are generally favorable for sugar beet cultivation. Therefore, the country has long been famous for high yields of this crop and occupy the leading places in a uh, gross collection of sugar. Uh, however, the economic crisis that hit the agro-industrial complex in recent years has caused a sharp decline in the production of beetroot and also sugar. Accumulation of areas under sugar beet crops, efficient supply of industry material resources, imperfection of the relationships between producers of sugar raw material and processes enterprises, and also breaching the cultivation technology has turned the industry into a loss. One. 
In order to make more effective use of soil and climatic resources in order to provide the country with competitive raw materials, reducing the, crop, uh, the cost of its production, it is um, expedient to develop and um, implement a productive structure of shown areas based on significantly grounded crop rotation. <coughs> Also, I would like to present uh, my own um, develop. Um, I have developed a method to increase productivity and quality of sugar beetroot crops. Uh, this research was conducted um, from 2005 till 2015 during 10 years. Um, the method of uh, the method to increase productivity and quality of sugar beet root crops. The main purpose and scope was for obtaining high yields and quality of sugar beet root crops according to the high technical supports. Uh, basic characteristics and essence of collaboration. It was the scientific problem of increasing the productivity of sugar beet in the conditions of the right bank forest type of Ukraine in this theoretically uh, generalized and solved by using the complexity of agrotechnological uh, measures of cultivation, the hybrid, the quality of seeds, the density of plant standing, fertilization of plants with microelements against the background of the main fertilizer, uh, duration of the growing season aimed at ensuring maximum productivity and high technological qualities of root crops. The comprehensive use of agro-measures has increased the productivity of the crop up to 2.6 to 3.2 uh, 3 ton per hectare. Um, my main benefits of development was the mathematical models of growth and development of sugar beets for, uh, for conditions of unstable wetting of the rye bank forest step of Ukraine in the link hybrid quality of seeds, plant density, fertilizations of plants with microelements and all on the background of the main fertilizer, duration of the vegetation period, determined by the terms of harvesting, are developed and scientifically substantiated. The features of growth and development of sugar beet and irregularities of root crop formation and sugar content depending on varietal characteristics, meteorological conditions, and direction of hybrids on elements of cultivation technology are determined. Um, intellectual property, its protection status, its doctoral thesis defended, uh, the demand in the market. Advanced cultivation technologies has been introduced in 2012 till 2022 in agricultural enterprises of, key, of the Kyiv region on the total area of 900 hectares. The state of readiness of development, the theoretically grounded agrobiological and technological elements of the intensification of production and improved the technology of sugar beet cultivation for ensuring its high efficiency in the right bank for a step of Ukraine. Um, also, I would like to pay attention on the agrotechnical measures for improvement and optimization of crops growing technologies. The first one is soil protection measures. In order to improve the ecological situation, reduce erosion processes, stop soil degradation and achieve the reproduction of soil fertility, we need to implement a complex of anti-erosion measures, which should include measures uh, which will be uh, also uh, will have um, sorry which will which should include the measures uh, for uh, our soil um, improvement also um, if you talk about modern varieties and hybrids hybrids modern varieties and hybrids of agricultural crops mainly intensive type uh, and provide the largest implementation of a 
sufficiently high biological potential for productivity if the technology of cultivation adapted to the environmental condition that is dynamic in uh, nature and appropriately react to changes biological situation, agrophytocenosis, in certain periods of growth and particular field depending uh, on the varietal characteristics. The third one is crop rotation. And the conditions of the um, one hand, um, the intensification of agriculture and all the and uh, on the other hand, the insufficient supply of plant by of plants by fertilizers, the protection of plants from weeds, harmful organisms, and the reform of agriculture, the role of short-term crop rotation is increasing, which will ensure the highest fertility of soil, yield and quality of production in cultivation, the most profitable crops. Uh, thank you for your attention.